Welcome everyone to another one of my software tutorials and today I'm going to do a real short little thing here. I've been running out of ideas to record so uh, I did come up with this. Uh, I'm going to call this Design Elements, uh, the name of this video. And uh, what we're going to do, we're going to show you how to make an isosceles trapezoid from a triangle. And uh, I'll show you how we can take that same isosceles trapezoid and turn it back into a triangle. So what we're going to do to start with <clears throat> you select our polygon tool and you tap in here. Yep. You have to get a fresh start here. Alright. Let me go back out to your V. Now I do this. And we're going to get three sides. We're going to make this uh, 200. So now we've got our uh, equilateral triangle here to be exact. And uh, what we're going to do is we want to add some points to this. We're going to go up to Object, Path, and we're going to uh, add anchor points. And it's going to double the amount, so now we have six anchor points. You take our Direct Selection tool, it's a shortcut is A, and uh, you select this top portion, you hit Delete. And you go back to V, select it again, Control J, and that closes the path. Now what you have here is an isosceles trapezoid. That's the technical term for it. We're going to turn it back into a triangle. I can show you how to do some interesting design elements with this. So if we hit R and place our cursor on this upper corner here, and hold down your Alt key, tap, and you got this rotate 120 degrees, and you just hit Copy. And then you hit Control-D to copy again. So now here we have a triangle that's composed of uh, three uh, isosceles trapezoids. So we're going to group these. We're going to get this in the center of our artboard here. I'm going up here to the center cues. And uh, <clears throat> what I'm going to do here is we're going to offset a path and create an, inter create an inter interesting design here. And we're going to put in 9 is 10. I'm going to preview that and hit OK. Now you see it's already got selected. If you go to your Layers panel, you notice the, the three offset paths you just created are selected. So you can Control G to select them. And now you got these other ones, the outer ones. You can select those and you can kind of organize your work here. Well, I'm going to hide the outer ones, and I'm just going to add a color to the uh, ones inside. So what we have here is this, uh, it's a, let's take the stroke off here. Now you got this interesting little design. <coughs> it's created from, uh, it's three isosceles trapezoids, and it's been uh, reworked into a triangle. And of course, the ones I've hidden here, you can uh, give them another color if you like. Hitting S key to exchange your swatches over here on the toolbar. And we'll just make that black. So, anyway, that's how to uh, make an isosceles, trying, isosceles trapezoid. And take it and copy and rotate it and convert it back into an interesting design element, which I've made here. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. And uh, make sure you subscribe. You know, I'll be doing some more. Thanks a lot, and I'm out of here.